Hello folks, it's the Siggy. What I'm taking a look at today is setting another account up on World of Times for a family member or somebody in your household. We're currently a number of weeks into isolation. I've no doubt tempers are getting frayed at everybody's house, but if you want to give yourself a little bit of a break, get them involved in this game. A couple of caveats, you cannot make another account for yourself. More on that in a second. How can we do it? Well, first things first, you need to go back into your main uh, account, into your main screen, click on the start menu, start settings, onto settings. What we're gonna go is family and other users and add somebody else to this PC. You need to create a new email address. Then click on your existing profile, the one that you're in, click log out, and then sign in to your new account that you've just made. Okay, you've come onto a new account, you need to go onto the Play Store and download the game again. Then, um, once you've downloaded it, go through the tutorial. From that point, what I'm gonna look at is maybe half an hour and see how far we can get for a brand new user if you do things with a little bit of experience. Okay, the caveat. The caveat, if we go onto the terms and conditions of Gameloft, uh, settings, terms of use, it is prohibited right at the start here for any of Gameloft's titles to have, oops, or you may not create more than one account. And if you've had an account terminated, you're prohibited from registering a new one. Okay, I appreciate we all have opinions on that. But, caveat temptor, buyer beware, if you do create more than one account, you risk losing everything. So don't do it for yourself. It's another family member. Okay, avoid the temptation once we start off and we've done the tutorial to click on items, for example, like collecting money or collecting, um, oh, it used to be called lottery, it's not lottery anymore, it's the chess, bonus chess, whatever it's called. A wait for the marker to come up from missions up on the top right hand side. When we do it that way, what we can do is we can generate gold stars. What we're looking to do is we're looking primarily to unlock Prometheus. We'll come onto that in a second. Okay, where's my timer? So let's see how far we can get in 30 minutes. As I say, we're gonna avoid clicking on these. Let's have a look at the missions. On the stars, collect coins from mess halls. There we go. If I'd have clicked it first, that's another little bonus that I wouldn't have got. So we're getting experience plus 100, 180 coins. The next one, we're immediately leveled up. If you clicked, click on unlocked, you can see what new things you can get in the shop. Oops, or you can just click on OK. How do I want to be known? OK. We can change our name here. I'm going to leave it as the default thing, General Glenn, for the time being. If you want to change it later, what you can do is you can click up on the top left-hand side, and I'll show you that in a second. In fact, there we go, we can do it now. So click on there, and click on the word change. And then you can change to anything you like, and you can change it to a number of different avatars. But I'm just going to keep things as they are. This, incidentally, is known as your commander. Okay, back onto our missions. I say we're not gonna do anything on the game and we're looking for our timer that is currently, every time I click on a different screen, it vanishes, I apologize, 28. Let's bring that down there. Okay, we need to increase fuel production, so build oil wells. Let's get an oil well and we'll place it down there. Now on the oil wells, if we click on it, 
we can uh, speed it up for free. There we go. And we get our bonuses. Missions. Uh, train militia units. Go there. Click on here. Militia units. We now know that because it's quick, you can actually speed it up. So that's that goal complete. Let's have a quick look here. Next one. Construct mess halls. Mess halls. And I'm going to put my mess hall oops, over here. There will be a task to move other items in a minute or another mission. Um, so don't move anything just yet. So mess halls, the next one. Win battles in the first strike operation. Um, I'm going to leave that one for a second and I'll show you why. Let's rearrange things. There we go. So let's go move a building or booster and this will give us 50 um, coins and a little bit more experience. Click on the settings tab, edit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that one over there. And we've now got our bonus. We can, oops, there we go. And we can click on there. And we've completed some more goals. So now we're level three, wind power plant. We are going to need wind power plant. Energy is something that depletes. You buy more energy and it depletes. Now we've got an indication to click on here on cargo chests. Again, do not click on it beforehand. So click on there. This is the reason I didn't do that first thing because you'll get VDV soldiers level four, which is sufficient for our ground attacks. So these are the rewards we've got from the crate. Crucially, we've got some field hospitals. Field hospitals are going to keep your units. Okay. Commanders have arrived to help you on your military campaign over the world. Oh, right. Okay. He's our commander. So we're going to click on there, equip it, and it'll tell us when we click on the little information, that it'll revive a unit with 45% uh, of its uh, total strength. Important thing, only use it for your good units. Don't waste it. The other items that you've got is you've got two different commanders. Each commander has got a passive bonus um, and a number of temporary bonuses that they can uh, be fitted. Read this, read this, it's important. Commander is very strong for what he does. He's very strong for what he does. Don't know if it uh, makes sense that. He's an attribute. I've got to say he, because there's only two people on it, and they're both men. There you go, girls, have a moan about that. Okay, the passive bonuses that are part of his profile. This is what this one does, this commander. If you want to switch commanders, it's going to cost you 200 gold stars. You've only got 50 that was awarded straight away. It is beneficial later on in the game to have this. Not essential, beneficial. So let's click that back. And now what we can do is we can start to populate our commander. Now, this one here, which gives us um, a 10% increase on our offensive power-ups. We haven't got any power-ups yet. It's just there. If it's, a, if it's placed in permanent, it does not die. This one here is increasing our attack of ground wars and because I've got nothing else on there I might as well have it deployed this one is to improve or to speed up faction wars decrease the ta time of faction war I'm not in a faction it doesn't matter we'll leave that off okay back onto here again avoiding clicking on chests we need to collect our oil click on these two as we said, we can now go back to this. Win battles in the first strike operation. Let's go through all this malarkey. First strike. Attack. Now, although we've got this VDV soldier, don't waste it because every time you use it, his points go down. Or his health goes down. So I'm going to use these other items. Nine against nine. Well, we want a slight ad advantage because we're not going to use any power-ups. And just press start. Swiping on these. 
it will tell you that uh, it can cancel out some things. I don't really know how it works. Who cares? Win a battle without losing any units. That was easy enough. Okay. Onto there. Let's get back onto here. Construct barracks. So we need another barracks. Okay. It will give you the opportunity to build two barracks and a reward. Don't build any more because they're not worth it. Speed that up for free. Once we've done the barracks, we need to train militia units. Militia units only take 58 seconds. Or 56 in that case because it's slightly boosted by the roads, the corner of the road. We know that we can click on these and speed them up for free. I don't want to click again. I really don't want a lot of low units. We're now onto level four. Unlocked, we've got military cottages. These are income producers and they also add to your experience. Do we want notifications? No. Thank you. We've got another reward for another goal complete. Any faction would want you. Right. At this stage, you are asked at level four to join a faction. Do not. Don't bother. Don't create one either. Because that costs 20 gold stars. Our only priority is getting this Prometheus. Okay. Let's go back onto our missions. Again, I haven't clicked on collecting funds from the headquarters, but it's there now. Collect coins from your headquarters, and I've got it as a reward and a little bit more experience. Okay, the next one. Times of War. Again, this is the reason we don't collect our chest straight away. Let's go open a cargo chest. We've got our free chest to open. Which again, we get our reward for. And crucially, we're starting to get into uh, gold stars. GS as we commonly call them. Okay. Oh, let me put my timer back up. We're now on 20 minutes. We're 10 minutes down. Oops, today. Move that back there. Move that slightly over. Okay. Train volunteers. 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 These are a minute and a half, so they'll be able to speed them up. When they get longer, you can't until you start placing boosters, but more onto that later. Another goal complete. The goals are getting completed. We're starting to do these missions. Place the roadblocks. Roadblocks. Doesn't matter where you place these. Although they are a booster, they're not the most efficient booster. We're going to need two of them. Once I've got them, personally, I just sell them. They're in the way. Okay. Although these are uh, going around the the uh, your map, these are also the missions that are on the top. So you can either click on the vehicles that are showing them or up here. You can see this one is a mission one. So I've got to complete the first strike and win battles in the chase. So all the first strike and then the chase. Let's have a quick look here. These are real easy battles. Remember, we've got these units that is big enough, but I'm just going to use these old or these little units. That's enough. Oops, Daisy. Enlarge that again. My bad. Attack again. You've got to check if you've got enough oil. This will be a problem initially, but we'll rectify that shortly. 20. Oh, God, look at that. More than enough. More than enough. There we go. So I'm dead. Okay. I'm going to do one more attack because I've still got two oil barrels left. La 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 la. Swipe over them. We're winning. We're winning. Look. No panics. Okay. We've also won five battles in a row. We've got the indication that one of our items have, have 
been depleted, don't bother rebuying it. Okay, one of our units has burnt out. Tough. It's a little one. Not worth anything. We know we need more oil. We've got ups. We're on level five there. We now can produce vehicle factories um, in addition to barracks. So what I'm going to do is get my vehicle factory up straight away or as soon as I can. Okay, we've got the oil. Oil. Oops, a daisy. Let me just have a quick look here. Ah, oil. Look for the missions. Try not to do it what you would consider automatic. So go there on oil wells. Prometheus will cost a lot of oil. Oops, let's speed up on there. Okay, first strike, what we're doing. Got one more battle on there, and then the chase with Bradley Walsh. That's a UK quiz type program. Forgive me. Forgive me. Okay, tap on the enemy unit before it releases its powerful attack. There we go, we've got it. That's maybe why I swipe at it now. There we go. Easy enough. Again, we are going to allow that to die. It doesn't matter. We don't need to attack again because that part is complete. And we need to go one battle on the chase. Okay, we've only got five there. Ah, there we go, that'll do. Easy going to win. A unit is charged, so ready for a powerful attack. It's in blue, so we click on there. As I say, it's died. Okay, because we need to do that one. We've completed the goal. Click through these. Okay. Back onto missions. With the base expanding, right, okay, we need wind power plants, wind power plants. So I'm going to put that over here. That will give us 50 energy. We're currently on 20. When we click on that, we can speed that up for free. Okay. We're now at level six. Oops, let's have a quick look at our timer. Okay, 15 minutes. It's gone. Special discount. No, I don't want to spend any money at this point because it's for my child. Um, we're going to go back onto our missions. Vehicles. We need a vehicle factory. Vehicle factory. I'm going to stick that over there. Oops. If I can keep it still. Oh, what's going on? There we go. And this one won't let us speed up until it gets down to two minutes time. I'm not going to click on this yet, this crate. I'll wait until it's a mission. I'm not going to collect on these mess holes. I'll wait until it's a mission, etc. Oil, I'm going to need. Okay. So, oops. Tap the vehicles that are going around the base. So these ones that we can see, oops, a daisy. Might as well collect that. Why is it not? One. There's a lack of them now. Anyway, that'll come in a second. That should be ready. Speed up for free. I don't know what is going on with this. Oh, I see. I've got to go slightly higher than on it. This. Sometimes the graphics go to uh, rats. Let me just try and... Nope. There. I think that might be it. Well, I've lost the bottom part of my screen. Let's put my timer back up because I get sidetracked. 13 minutes to go. Missions. We know we need to tap on vehicles. Right. 
Right, what I'm going to have to do is what we have to do on this bloody game too often is restart it. There you go. Incidentally, this latest um, version, if you delete and um, reinstall your existing game, you'll notice a couple of um, changes outside the bonnet. Outside the bonnet? Yeah. I'm trying to click on this. Right. Those that recoil over here used to be a dam that you could expand upon for energy. A waste of money, in my opinion, but that's gone now. Okay, we've clicked on a couple of vehicles. I can't get on that one. You can zoom in as well. Okay, campaigns. We well, now we need to construct some Humvees. Do that in there. We're waiting for the missions. Let's get our timer back on. Got 12 minutes left out of our half hour. Okay, I'm not expanding yet until this mission comes up, or the goal. So let's go. Expand the territory. What you want to do is the game will advise you to go eventually at level seven to try and get over the bridge over this way we're not going to do that we're going to aim for these two free airplane boosters down here so the first place we're going to click is there it's 500 euros or 500 coins i beg your pardon and that can be speeded up straight away click on there okay Collect coins from the mess holes. One, two. There we go, that's the reason we didn't collect earlier. Collect oil from the oil wells. One, two. Okay. Click on there. Ah, uh, we're constructing our Humvee that should be ready now. No. I've got another minute or so to wait. Uh, we need allies. Create or join a faction. Now, this will give us 10 stars. I'm not going to do that just yet. But what I do need is allies. Have allies. It'll ask you to click on friends. I'm not going into my what's it, into my Facebook. Add ally, which gives me two. And then I'm going to go on here. Um, And hello, all ally. Oops, ally request, please. Thanks in advance. Most people are friendly enough, and they'll add you. What you can do as well is just right click on somebody's name or click on somebody's picture and click add ally. Most people will just accept. It used to matter their level. It seems to matter less so. I'm not saying it doesn't matter. To me, it just seems to matter less so. Okay. Uh, and I request, right, we know we can collect on these because we've already had it as a mission or a goal. I need to put my timer back up, move it over there. Click on missions. Our Humvee isn't going to be ready. We've asked for allies. We're not going to join a faction yet. Let's go uh, visit a friendly base. Now you've already got an ally because we've got our Sergeant Smith. Click on Sergeant Smith. Visit him. Put the fires out. And now we've got another two stars. And another two stars. Okay, is our Humvee ready yet? Speed up for free. Yes. 600 points. Unlocked. Prometheus is now unlocked. It will tell us the story about this now. As I say, you can just click on OK. You can just look in the shop to see what's unlocked. It doesn't matter. Okay, this amazing new technology. Let's see. There's our prompt. La 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 la. Win or lose at this point. Sometimes you win it, sometimes you lose it. It matters not. 
Okay. Tap on it to reveal it. He's 180 stars. However, for the next hour, you can have him at half price. Plus, your first upgrade is with coins and you'll get free reservoir refills for two days. So if your nephew, your son, your partner, etc. does this on a Friday just before Global Conquest. Anyway. Okay. So we're currently at 58. We know that by joining a faction, we can... Oops. We can gain 10. We've now got more missions to complete. That'll give us a couple more tanks. So we're going to complete the chase operation. I've got 10 oil. I'm going to go back over here. Collect on my oil. Collect from my mess halls. That was the part I was going to. So we're going to complete the chase. Again, these are easy battles, so we might as well just get these out of the way. Uh, I've got to use my backup this time. So, that unit there. Signal for your reinforcements. Everyone's been through this part, even if it's a distant memory from years and years and years ago. Come on, die. Die, 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 die. Uh, yes, we do need to attack again because we've got to complete this. Again, I'm going to use my lower value units. A 25 attack against... I uh, haven't got any yet. 25 attack against 10 defense. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Click on these crates. Click on these crates. Click on that because it's charged. Click on the barrel. Click on the men. Moving on, moving on. Still got 11, so attack two more. Again, we're on 13. 25 is nearly double. That'll do me. Okay. Oops, that's charged. Click on there. This is easier on a touch screen, but... With a mouse, as I don't know. It's just what you're used to in it. 25 against 16. For the sake of it, I'm just going to put a little bit more. I'm over double now. Slightly over double. Yeah, the enemy's health is going down quicker than mine. That's all we need to see. We don't need to attack again because we've completed it. We've still got eight left. Now, it also asked us to do um, one battle in the behind enemy lines. So we'll do that. Okay. So 25. Click on there. I've got to remember I'm against the clock here. Okay, we've got our gold reward back on the home button. Down on here. We want to have allies. Let's have a look, see if anybody's responded to our ally request. No, we don't want that one. Let's go into our headquarters. Reports. Brilliant. Alliance proposition. Accept. Okay, we've now completed that goal. We've got 58 points. Our timer, we've been playing the game now for 25, 26 minutes. I'm digressing. Uh, let's have a look. Train Marines. Yeah. Six minutes and 26 seconds. Six minutes 41. So that one there. Click on these because we know it gives a little bit of points. Uh, right. Place fences. Crikey. Uh, these fences are a 1% booster. 1%. Um, yes, I think they can be increased, but for me, they're not the most efficient ones. So that's it. And as soon as we've got them, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
missions. Create or join a faction. I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, train marines we've got. Attack players. Okay, we're looking for our easiest possible battles. And I'm going to look for anything that's got some money with it. So 3,000 at the moment and all green battles. 3,000, 2,800 needs level 12. So click on there. Remember, we need oil for all these anyway, for these battles and particularly to invade. So 357 against 145. Uh, I could use my backup because, oh, I've now got two. Thank you very much. Let's take them off. Oopsie daisy. Resume battle. Okay. It tells us about our glory that's going up. Which, ironically, is only good to a point. And we're looking to maximise our in, uh, invasion. So 471 there, 719. 176, right. 719 is the best. Home. Level 8, unlocked. Okay, weapons workshop. I can tell you that this weapons workshop is outrageously important. So I'm going to build that now. I'll rate the game later. Okay. Do I want to buy that? No. Okay, on our black market, these are all available for stars. We've got nothing like that sort of quantity, so I'm going to restock. We've still got nothing like that quantity. Um, okay. Energy, oil supply, military, weapons, workshop. I need some more power. I'm going to place that there because we're going to need a lot of them. Income promo. Oh, military, weapons, workshop. Oh, I need more than that. Beg your pardon. Speed up for free. Let's click on there. Shop. Ah, do you know what? I might as well do another power plant. We're going to use them anyway. We do need a lot more oil. Oil, get it, ducky. Um, but what we're looking to build is our weapons workshop. Uh, we're going to put that over there. Okay, let's have a look at our timer. Right, we've got 15 seconds left. So, in half an hour, we can get to the point where we're offered, oops, where we're offered prom. So, we're at level 8 now. He's offered at 7. Oh, I'll stop that then. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this video. And the second part is to how to get Prometheus in a uh, in a short period as well thank you for watching tune in later for part two